you guys had a good holiday. Things have been going well here. Um, good practices. It's nice to warm up a bit and get outside today. And uh, you guys are in good spirits, and things are going well. Well, Fire away. You, I know we do the the questions uh, from year to year on similar opponents, but it's rare for a bowl game to get a to a similar opponent. Is the vibe any different playing a familiar no, team like this? No, I don't think it is at all. I mean, it's, you know, the prep is the same. Um, it's not like we play Iowa very much. Um, but uh, the fact that we played them last year in the bowl game, no, I don't think it matters too much at all. Did you enjoyed not getting the Iowa questions from us this year? I, I did enjoy that, you know, because you, you know the answer before uh, you ask it. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Again, I have a lot of respect for Coach Ferentz in Iowa. And uh, both teams are going to go out to compete to win. I think you've talked about it before, but you kind of like getting outside more than indoors, correct? Yeah. Did you see a difference? It was good just to get out and see, to see the sunshine and uh, be outside a little bit. I think we all are over the bitter cold that we had. How are the freshmen kind of take? We know the bowl streak you guys are on, the wins that you know the older guys have gotten. The freshmen want to come to New here and they want to win. Well, yeah, you know, it is, and you know, for a lot of these guys, it's their first uh, bowl game, first experience. They're, they're enjoying it. Um, I think the energy's been good, and uh, so we're excited. Without Carrington, you guess it's an opportunity for Andrew to slide outside. Mm -hmm. How have you seen him? I guess progress during this bowl yeah. game. Yeah, Andrew's, you know, played a lot. We rotate a lot, you know, in, during the season anyway, and uh, and uh, he's doing a good job. He's, he's a competitive person, you know, so. You know, during the year, things happen, injuries happen. It's always the next man up. So, you know, they're really not uh, anything we haven't been through before. I asked you about the, a couple of the local kids from here in Nashville and uh, how they've contributed this year. I mean, Barry, we've seen him on TV. How has he been? Uh, Barry on is just excellent. I mean, just, you know, him and, uh, of, course, of course, the Wades. Uh, you know, there's just great young men. Uh, you know, Barry on's had a monster season. Keaton has really done a good job and played a lot for us. And, you know, hopefully we'll see D. Wade in this game, you know, so we'll see what happens. But, um, you know, they're, they're great young men. They're great fits for us. And we're really glad we have them. And, of course, Barry Owens had a monster year for a true freshman. How's Destin picked up the offense you mentioned? Hopefully we'll see him. Destin's doing a really good job. We just think, he, you know, what the nice thing is he puts his head down and goes to work and he's getting better. And that's that's what he had, you know, it's all a lot of kids need to learn from that. Just go to work every day, and no matter what the snaps are, just get better. And uh, he's done that. Destin's done a really good job. We got another kid from this area in the new recruiting class. What's been kind of your key to success in getting kids from Nashville? Well, I mean, it's you know, it's nice and close, and uh, the guys like it. But the, I think the players on our team from this area that have come in and, and uh, really fit in well, and uh, good players and good people, and so that helps recruit the next group. What are you seeing out of your three QBs, and what are you looking for out of this? Well, I mean, th this is their opportunity. I mean, they got to take command, obviously, and, and, uh, and you got to make plays. I mean, you know, you got to have a presence about you and a leadership position, and uh, the guys have to respond to them. And uh, you know, they're all working hard, and uh, you know, it, it's going to be tough. This is a very good defense, and they've been solid all year. So uh, we have to play really good around that quarterback, no matter who it is. Um, it, there, there's a lot of inexperience there, so not a lot of snaps. Uh, but we have good players around them, and they just got to go in there and do their job. Uh, I was good in a lot of ways. I mean, they're they very much understand them, themselves, and they understand each call, what the strength and weakness is, and where they may be getting attacked in that particular defense. I think their their football IQ is extremely high, which as a defensive guy, a defensive coordinator for a long time, I have great respect for that and what they do and how hard they play. I mean, they, they play extremely hard, very physical, uh, very well coached, and, uh, you know, I like that. I, I, love, I love the way they play. I think it's a very good and you know, they play very hard. This isn't the, the first time you've been playing with Chris, um, or without Chris, I should say. Are there any lessons from those first four games that those running backs can kind of take with them into this game? I think so. I think we can, you know, all learn from it and see, you know, some of the things we did well, some of the areas where we fell short, and uh, 
you know, some guys got to step up, and uh, they, they need to uh, play as hard as Chris does. And that's hard to do. You know, he's a tough physical guy, and, and uh, hopefully he'll step up. Coach, if you talk to the fans about calling plays and said, hey, don't get too crazy. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, you know, uh, as I mentioned to you guys earlier in the week, I mean, you know, Scott Woodward and you know, Woody will have a, a great deal uh, to do with play calling, just just from a piece that together from quarterback, wide receiver point of view, you know. So um, you know, between Woody and Vince, you know, everybody else, it'll be a group effort. But uh, you know, we'll, we'll see. It'll be it'll be good. It'll be fun. It's a great opportunity. Do you find yourself being more with offense, I guess, in this practice? I was. Yeah, I was a little bit more. Yes, but just in there. Uh, you know, meeting with them and make sure we're on the same page, make sure we're doing things we can do, and, uh, and just making sure we, the you know, number one rule is to not beat ourselves. And, yeah, we got to make sure we go into this game and give our kids an opportunity to be successful. So much change. How important is it to, to start fast and to have that kind of script down pat? I think it's important, um, but it's also important, uh, you know, in a game like this with two very good defenses, is to 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 not beat you, you know beat yourself with, with turnovers and penalties and you know just things that uh, you know could, could put you in a bad spot. I mean, uh, we have to be very conscientious. You know, there was some games late in the year where we're getting penalties on special teams and things of that nature. We cannot do those things. We have to play clean. Doesn't matter who starts the game. I guess fans wonder who starts the game at quarterback. Does that say anything? Or pardon me. Doesn't matter who starts the game at quarterback. Is that really something that you're looking at? I mean, I think it matters. I think it matters to all of them. Uh, you know, these these young men work extremely hard for a good portion of their life, and they put a lot into it. And I recognize that. And I understand. And, uh, to all of our players and how hard they work to get to this point. Ultimately, we're trying to win the game. So we're going to put the quarterback in there. That gives us the best opportunity to win. Thank you.